And what's up, everybody? This is Nun Defense, host of this YouTube channel and still co-leader of the team, still in Boomble, and a real-life leader, of course, is Miss Boomby Changey. I am on the account Grublet, and uh, Grublet currently lives on the team Rise of the Dragon, leader led by Blonde Rebellion and Tramp Piper and Jeremy and some other people, and they're not the star of this video. Friends, today is a very, very, very special day. So special, in fact, that it I'm not even sure... The greatness of Grublet can quite quantify how great of a day this is. Let me show you. Today, my friends, is mine and my lovely lady Angie's anniversary. And here she wrote a little Facebook post letting everyone know that today, one year ago today, we did get married. It was a very special, lovely ceremony. And this video, if I get to choose, is going to be all about her like just man you know she she she's just my lady like man she takes such amazing care of us and this is her like a long time ago this one here she's the taller one so angie's like six foot i'm like five six five five just depending i tend to slouch so i can i can pass for five four just because i have a very relaxed demeanor so anytime any photo like this know that in real life that she's squatting like a lot but this was the day we bought a store together we bought a, a little consignment shop uh, that didn't last too long but it was fun it was a fun fun little effort this is her and her family this is these are some of my children well, all of my children this is Angie right there okay this little little girl right in front of her that's Charlotte that's my Charlotte I love my Charlotte so much uh, this is my Biffy short for Elizabeth this back here, another fellow Pittsburgh Steelers fans. This is uh, Mr. Isaiah. And, of course, way back there with the long hair, that is my other son, Mr. Uh, well, he's a junior. He's a Matthew Jr. technically. Uh, his uh, uh, handle, his uh, gaming handle, he either goes by Demon Monk or Dragon. There's my daughter. This picture here... This was taken on a very, very fun day. Uh, we were went down to visit uh, uh, Boston, Boston, Massachusetts. We lived in New Hampshire at the time, so it was about a three-hour drive. But we drove down to Boston, and we got to see a lot of, a lot of fun things. This picture here was at at, at the aquarium. Here is a picture that my my miss my beautiful love Angie made this delicious, delicious cake with the help of Elizabeth, if memory serves, that, that when Elizabeth came to visit and Angie asked her, she's like, well, Elizabeth, what do you want to do for your birthday? And Elizabeth said, I want to make a cake with Angie. So there you go. That was that. Was that. Uh, let's see. So this is, this is Angie's father here in the middle. His name is Dwayne. He's a very good guy. This is her grandfather. He has passed away. Very good guy. Uh, uh, sir, a retiree for the Marines. I'm not sure if he retired but a proud Marine, his name is Bruce. We call him Poppy. Totally awesome guy. Passed away recently, very sad. This, this is Angie. And this is Rose Spillman. Rose Spillman, you can find her. She is one of the, she is a television personality, no joke. She does, uh, uh, she, when we lived in Claremont, New Hampshire, she was the local news anchor lady. Okay, so she, you know, it was a very small town, town of like 15,000 people, but she was the local news person, and then she got a job with a bigger uh, television news company out of New York. So she works there now, and she's doing great, and her career is up and coming. So remember her, if she ever becomes a super famous national newscaster, you can know for an absolute fact that we were friends with her and we still are Facebook friends you know we chat here and there super sweet lady very sweet and that's Angie with us and uh, funny quick story total vegetarian Rose total vegetarian uh, but at the restaurant that Angie and I were working together where's where where we met Rose originally because the TV station was right above our restaurant um, uh, 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 Rose, the vegetarian, one day had a weird craving for bacon, and I was so happy and so proud that I got to cook her bacon that day. Uh, let's see. I don't know who these people are. I know, I know that's, I know that's her aunt Lisa. 
That might be her sister. Yeah, that's her sister. I'm guessing just because I see the name Krista. And so I'm assuming that's her sister, Krista. I don't know her sisters that well. Uh, all right, well, there's me wearing a big ass St. Patrick's Day bow. Of course, Angie made me wear it. This was a fun day. So this was at the restaurant. The name of the restaurant was Simply Comfort. And there was an ongoing... <sighs> it was like a habit. It was like just a, a stupid, silly, fun thing that just be kind of became hilarious. But kind of became uh, an ongoing thing that Angie, God bless her, is talented and skilled and wonderful as she is at absolutely everything that she's ever done. She has this habit of knocking things over. And she doesn't mean to. And uh, it became just... The, these were like a bunch of uh, tea bag packets that were in a little these little blue containers and she actually knocked them over and I just had to get this picture of her <laughs> in that face oh I love her so much if I didn't fall in love if I wasn't in love with her before that moment that moment definitely kind of kicked that in so there's Angie this is Rose once again that's Caitlin her real name is Caitlin Page I call her Caitlin McGee she, she's sweet she, she's awesome uh, let's see. Do do do. Once again, old time. Let's see. This one. This one's Angie. Yeah, that's got to be Angie. Remember way back when? I thought you'd get a kick out of this one. Dwayne Case and four others. I don't know who that is. I'm assuming that's her sister, Krista. But I know my love's nose. I know my nose, and that is her nose. All right. So that's Angie. Okay, now she doesn't know that we're going through these pictures on Facebook. Oh, here's her in a, a little sexy police outfit. I wasn't there that night. That was before, you know, we uh, ever even met or anything. More Christmas photos, stuff photos. Yep, yep, yep. So now we're getting into photos, you know, that before, before I came into the picture. All right, so let's we're just gonna stop going back there. All right, what else we got? So here's a picture of the two of us. You know, this was at <coughs> where were we? It was uh, it's in Washington. It was like a science fiction museum or something. Pretty cool. Let's see if it tells us. Oh, there's just a picture of us. But anyway, well, but this was a sign going for the Star Trek exhibit and it says for to those who have looked at the stars and wondered and that's totally us man like we love the stars we love looking at the skies these are pictures that she has that she takes uh, this is my son this is Demon Monk aka Dragon aka Matthew Jr. aka the boy um, he works at McDonald's he's doing good he's having a good day good time the grublet the grublet the first time Angie ever met Grublet, she like freaked out in a good way, just like, oh my god, he's so cute. He's so cute. Uh, let's see. She does buy me organic ground beef. She just does. It just I have a weird tummy and sometimes uh, it gets sensitive. Oh, this was these were interesting pictures. This was at a bonsai tree garden here in Washington. Uh, it was just a day where we were like, well, let's go do all the free things that we can think of. And this was one on the list of free things. So if you're in the Tacoma, Washington area, this is a free place that you can go. There's me and Jimbo and Grublet, of course. My hat was not wear, being worn very well that day, but there we go. But these are some very, very pretty, very serene. So happy to spend our time, to get, you know, as a family that day. Me, Jim, Angie, and the boy. That's Jim, if you didn't pick that up. Good old Jim. More pictures of trees. They're very pretty. I mean, you know, just to look at the tr pictures, you're all right, well, they're just trees. Like, yeah, they are just trees, but I promise when you're there and your feet are on the ground, you kind of can't help but appreciate. This was a grublet staring at a bird. So that's a bird, and he was just staring at a grublet like, huh, that's interesting. All right, so I don't know what that building was, but it's very interesting. Ooh, a little rainbow. Very cool. So these are pictures. Take This was a part of our little day trip. We are just going around doing all the free things. This was like up on a, not a bridge. Then what well, kind of was a bridge? Or I don't know. So there we are. 
So that's uh, me wearing my number 43. This was the very first Steelers anything I ever purchased. Shortly after I moved to Pittsburgh and I decided I was going to get into football again as an adult. I was into it a little bit as a kid, but you know, just only as a very, very loose, casual paying attention. But when I moved to the Pittsburgh area and I decided to start paying attention, uh, it was Troy Palomalu who got my attention and said, yeah, that's my guy. So I went out and bought that jersey, and I still have it. So this was that day. Uh, there you go. So alrighty, let's see what else. There's the group of us. Two, two, two. This is just some of the glass artwork that we got to see that day on our free, free family adventure. We had fun just going around and doing everything that was free. Anything that was free, we were in. We were sign us up. Let's see if we can scroll out. Let's go down. Okie dokie. So we're into the glass artwork. So lots of beautiful, beautiful glass artwork. <laughs> there's the, there's the picture. Like what the hell? All right, beautiful. So this is all glass. This is it's like a glass art display. Very beautiful stuff. Very fun stuff. So Angie is a hell of a cook. We love our animals. There's Molly. We love Molly. Molly is like the ghost of this house. You know, nobody ever gets to touch her, but we all get to see her. Uh, she did not take this photo. This was just a photo that she came across. But um, let's see. These are her grandparents. Her. Uh, grandmother used to be quite the looker very beautiful alrighty uh, this was a picture she took from one of her uh, uh, from one of her airplane trips where she got a shot of CenturyLink Field so that's kinda cool uh, CenturyLink Field is where the uh, um, the Seattle Seahawks play this was she and I this was at that science fiction museum but they had a musical uh, section where they focused on music, particularly Jimi Hendrix. If you don't know who Jimi Hendrix is, Google the name. He's a famous musician from Seattle, Washington area. And these were some pictures of, uh, you know, at, at, at his little section there at the museum. Totally awesome. I don't know what's up with that photo. Let's just get out of that. Uh, oh, let's read this. This was totally awesome. So this was straight from Jimi Hendrix Journal or his little a date book and he wrote it it wrote it himself and it says I'm stoned as hell in this hotel room with Mitch in Cincinnati the gig oh yeah groovy oh man that's great that's groovy that is awesome thank you Jimi Hendrix just you know so that was a neat experience getting to be there and see all these different science fiction things here's a Jawa outfit from Star Wars very cool so we we, we we had just had she and I had a lot of fun that day. Tons and tons and tons of fun. Just getting all these silly pictures. Here's me and Grublet. This is the Grublet purse. Maybe you've heard me discuss the Grublet purse. That I do carry a purse for Grublet. I keep my other stuff in there too, but that's a that's a Grublet purse. That's where Grublet goes. Uh, let's see. Well, this was kind of cool. Is this the uh, the video? Do we still have the video? Maybe this is the video. No, I want. It. There's a video of uh, me and him doing like a silly thing. I don't know where that is. This was a Mogwai prop from the movie Gremlins. Awesome. Jason Voorhees. Did anybody else see this movie? Great movie. Critters. Check it out. Okay, it's a really bad movie, but I still loved it. Um. All right. This is their um. The, her grandparents love horses. They have a Shetland pony and a regular horse, cool dog or cool animal. <laughs> I love taking naps. Buddy loves taking naps. It makes sense that he and I would but take naps together. So no surprise there. She's my baby Emily. Mhm. Mm we love Emily. She, uh, Emily is a very, I'm going to do very much, she's very independent in the way that she's going to do whatever the hell she wants to do and nobody's going to stop her. But the second she wants you to pet her, you better stop doing everything that you're doing and you better put all of your attention on her. 
because she will reach out and scratch you if you don't. Poor Angie, she reaches out whenever she wants Angie to pet her. Angie will be busy on her phone and doesn't see her staring, doesn't see Emily staring at Angie, and Emily will just reach out and just scratch her, and Angie will be like, Ow, oh, fuck, God damn it! Come here, Emily, I'll pet you. It's, it's terrible. So this was, I forget where it was, but it's in, it's in Washington. But that was uh, me and Angie and Jim and the boy we went out on this cool little, you know, bike ride kind of place. This was here in Washington. That is Mount Rainier in the distance, way over here. See that? Uh, we had a lot of fun. We just love getting out and seeing things and doing things. And just it, it's it's wonderful. It's a wonderful family dynamic that we have. We're certainly a very strange uh, <laughs> family. <clears throat> you know, we definitely don't fit into many categories, but, uh, you know, we're just happy to be. You know, this is us on our trip. This is in the Badlands. This picture is not nearly as impressive as it was when you're actually standing there and looking out, but it was very beautiful. This is at the hotel. This is the kitties saying they were letting us know that they were ready for bed. They're looking at us, at us like, well, where are you guys going to sleep? <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. The life that we've had. I mean, we've only been married for a year, but we've been together, she and I, for three years-ish, four years. You know, it's hard to say because uh, our, our relationship started as a working relationship, and then it somehow, you know, as our divorces were separate, separately and independently, as our divorces were going through, our physical and emotional relationship has kind of started as well. So it's kind of hard to say the when and how and why we actually got together. Uh, but we know we've been married for a year. Like that was pretty easy to uh, easy to figure out. And I don't know why this is just being stupid, but either way. So oh, there we go. So these are just some of the various other things that we've done along the way. This is when Angie drove to uh, Washington. Um, she took lots of photos along the way. She just, she's my lady. Uh, this is me and her at the zoo in Colorado. Oh, here's a fun picture. We were driving along one day and we saw this place and it had a freaking tank outside and we were like, well, well we have to get this picture, so we did. So we did. Now, you're saying, well, who took the photo for, him, for you? Well, we couldn't. We didn't have anybody to take the photo. So she took a photo of me up here, and then I took a photo of her down there, and then she used some Photoshop to make us both in the picture. So that was kind of cool. This, this giraffe had a very long tongue. It's a monkey. Hello, monkey. Was that a monkey? Yeah, it was a monkey. Monkey! And a gorilla, technically 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 so there you go lots of fun lots of fun just I can't even man like I can't imagine my life without her you know because I know just the number of things that she does on a day-to-day -day basis to keep this family going to keep this family you know handling its operations and what I love about our relationship, our dynamic is, uh, you know, and I explained early on, is I wanted a partnership. My previous wife, God bless her, she's a wonderful woman and a good mother and all of that stuff. But we were never partners. You know, we got married, but we weren't partners. We were just always kind of at odds. You know, it's like she always wanted to stand on one side of the fence while I was stood on the other and it eventually led to a you know just a big division in our life but when angie and i got together and just made it clear it's like look i need a partner man i need somebody that has got my back constantly and therefore i will have their back constantly you know and that was specifically i wasn't gonna get in another relationship unless i had that you know just total total partnership total so uh, that's what we built up to. What the hell was I doing here? What is that in my hand? Is that broccoli? Well, it looks delicious, and I love the Incredible Hulk shirt I'm wearing there. Totally awesome. <clears throat> so these are just other photos 
uh, this is all on our trip on Col to Colorado here. Um, you know, we love to go out and do things and stuff. It's fun. It's fun. Whenever we get a chance to get out and see something, do something, participate in a new adventure, we just love to. We just love to. So, and I don't know why we're going here, but come on, work with me. There we go. More photos of just stuff. This is at a little, uh, these photos here were at a, a little space museum. And not a good, excuse me, not a good museum. I mean, it was okay for five bucks, but for 20 bucks, it was not okay. This bridge was pretty awesome. We got to go see this bridge that goes over whatever is like the, the gorge bridge, the mountain gorge bridge. There it is, the Roy, Roy, Royal Gorge Railroad Hanging Bridge. And uh, is a bridge, all right. I'm trying to get a good photo of the bridge itself. I mean, there's the bridge. I think I see one coming up. There's us on the bridge, looking at the bridge. See, there's the bridge way over there. Over here, that's the bridge. All righty. Trying to, come on. So there, eh, not a great photo, kind of blurry there. Ah, yes, Jason fucking Ferguson. This guy's an NF was a was an NFL athlete. He played in the league for about twelve years. <coughs> he was at the same hotel thing in Colorado that we were, and he used to play for the Dallas Cowboys and the New York Jets and the Miami Dolphins. And uh, you know, it's like we knew him. Like, dude, we know this guy. We started talking to him. We're like hanging out with him. Well, what's your name? Jason Ferguson. Cowboys, right? Yep. Well, I'll be goddamned, and I'm a Steelers fan, so of course I'm wearing my Steelers jacket, you know. But he didn't give me any, give me a hard time about it. But dude, remember, like, I'm a small guy. Okay, I'm like five six, but you know, like this dude was huge, just a big guy, and totally relaxed, totally chill. And then he played a D lineman. That's for those who don't know. That's just the, that's pretty much the most violent position you can play on the uh, on the league in the NFL and uh, he played it and he played it brilliantly for a long time but total nice guy love this rose joint somebody rolled, rolled, rolled that so again this all falls into you know being about Angie because it was all a part this was our trip this was our trip together this was at that fucking balanced rock of course we had to get some silly pictures of us pretending to hold up the rock Naturally, there's me holding up the rock. That was her holding up the rock earlier, and I'm holding it up with my legs because I'm just that talented and strong. Cool rock. Spoiler, it's balancing there on its own. There we go. Uh, there was us, me and Jim. Oh, with that, I don't know who that dog was. It was just a cool dog. I was like, hey, can I get a photo of you and, you and my dad and my dog? And it'd be awesome. And everybody said, okay. Good stuff. So we had a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Just in all, in the time that we've been together, we've been able to do so many fantastic, fun things. Us smoking a J, smoking a J, smoking a J. Here's a photos of what the uh, the packages of marijuana that we purchased in uh, Colorado. This was our little hotel cabin area. It was us on the plane. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. I think this video has been kind of kind of casually watching the time. I think it's getting pretty long, so we're going to go ahead and wrap that part of the video up. And I'm just going to go ahead and get ready for my clothes and close it and just say, Angie, you're everything to me. Like, a million. And you know that. And I tell you that, and I show you that, and I tell everybody that, and anybody who has ever asked me or never asked me has somehow some, heard some version of that from me is you were mine you are the reason that we're able to live a reasonably comfortable casual laid-back life you know uh, you know it's just wonderful <laughs> like I, I mean I could sit here and say just ramble on and on and on and on about all the fantastic amazing things that you've done for me and mine and this family and you're, you're my love. 
and I'm just I love her so much, and I just want her to know that she she's my forever love, and she knows, she knows. So let's message her right now, and let her know that YouTube says says I want to give her capital letters, happy anniversary. All right, with an exclamation point, I meant to send that out there, but there we go. So, all right, so there you go, friends. That was uh, that was my, our little, my little. I'm in love with Angie. She's my wife, and I love her. And we've been married together a year. Episode, right, right. So let's wait for her to message us back. But I am gonna do some imitation games, so I'm gonna boost for that. Because I'm all about boosting for the imitation game now. Love the imitation game. I mean, it's a joke. You know, like, in terms of, oh, that wasn't that hard to beat. Well, no. No, it wasn't. Definitely wasn't. But it was great for a grublet. It was great for a grublet. Alright, fuck you, Dr. T. Watch this. Or not Dr. T, you're Hammerman. Fuck you, Hammerman. You're going down. Grublet hookah style. Here we go. We're going to do drop left sneak around. We're going to use the old left corner tactic. I'm going to just get everybody around. Then I'm going to go and start bombing some things. I just want to make sure everybody is good and in position. Here we go. Looking lovely. I want to go all the way back there. Let's get back there. Now we're going to bomb some stuff. We're going to bomb this. We're going to bomb this. We're going to bomb this, and we should be fine now. Like that should do it. Let's just let it go. See what happens. Where's my troops? Okay, my heavies are in range. See what happens. I mean, I know I could bomb that sniper, but it's just such a weak sniper. I'm reckoning that I'll be okay. So it'll be awesome. Yep, yep, yep. I think we're gonna be okay here, Chief. We're just fine. Now we're gonna flare up there. Just get in final position. Uh, let's see, what else can I say about Angie, since we're on the subject of Angie? Um... We are going to go out and do something for our anniversary this weekend. <clears throat> I don't know if we're going to do anything tonight or tomorrow afternoon when she gets off work. <clears throat> um, you know, there's still some debate about that. You know, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, only one stone, whatever. Okie dokie. We're rocking hookah if you didn't notice. As I forgot to tell you. Alrighty, we're going to first. Alright, I'm going to be able to survive that one bomb. So, first thing we got to do is get rid of this and this. Boom, boom. Okay. And this. Alright. Okay, we're in good shape. Good shape. Now, we're going to drop one heavy. Then I'm going to put the rest of the flags right there. And then I'm going to flare there. Okay, I really wanted to catch. Don't kill that. Okay, now let's get back here. Okay, looking all right so far. I think we're going to be fine. Now we'll get under the smoke. What are you doing? <sighs> Silly Zookas. Alright, now we're going to drop some critters over there. Keep my Zookas from get, getting any random stray fire. And we should be okay now. Yep, we're going to do another reposition just to get everybody up here. Looking lovely. One mortar's down. Let's get rid of this next one. And we're in good shape. And let's get rid of that cannon just in case and we win. So there you go. All right. Um, doo -doo -doo. Hi, imitation game with a grublet. 
I still have perfect troops. I'm flawless, flawless victory. <laughs> Pretty exciting. Very exciting. Wonder what kind of resources we're gonna get. We're gonna find out. Just a moment. Got four stones, decent resources. Not the worst I've ever seen. I'll take it. Okay. Go back in. Going in. Going in. Um, boom, boom, boom. And boom. Right? I mean, it seems reasonable to me. Um, I don't want that there. Okay. Oh, she's having a rough day at work. She'll say, yay, she's having a bad day. She'll talk to me later. So we're just going to leave her alone and not even respond. I want to get rid of that. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. All right, cool. I think we're in good shape. So now we're going to one, two, three. And then one, two, three, four. So this uh, boom cannon won't be an issue. It just won't be. So that's good. Okay. We're smoking the Zookas because we don't want my Zookas getting hit. That's a bad. We don't want that kind of stuff. None of that nonsense. Let's drop a critter there. I think we're going to be alright here though. Yeah, we're going to be fine. We're going to be fine. Let's drop a med kit. Yay! Pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Alright, so, ooh, yeah, that's a good one. Five, five of the uh, small ones and then one of the medium ones. That'll work. That'll work. So that was level three, I believe. So now we're on level four. Now is where it might start getting kind of, kind of tricky. <laughs> Tell you what, let's do a time check. 606, let me go ahead and wrap this video up. Uh, friends, you've seen me work on an imitation game before, because now I'm at the part where I'm going to have to start losing troops, and then I'll have to start reloading. And I don't want to make you guys go through the reload and I don't want to use diamonds today so I'm just gonna go ahead and wrap this video up friends I want to thank all of you so much for taking time out of our out of your day to hang out with us and be goofy with us and stuff if you ever need anything please let me know I'll be glad to help wherever I can uh, and some people do like when they have a, a question they'll just message me and if I have the answer I'll, I'll answer and if I don't have the answer I'll try to get the answer or if it's a uh, but if you're asking me, and this is a question that I get sometimes, people will message and say, hey, how do you create multiple accounts? Can you show me? Uh, not really. I really can't show you. Like, you just, I can't because I can't send you screenshots of my secret information, you know. But the information's out there. You just got to find it. It's all out there. You can find it. But I can't show like stuff of what's going on on my device because if I do that then you have then you have access to all my emails then you have access to my passwords and you have so no that so that's not going to do so no I'm sorry I can't show someone how to do the how to create create old, uh, other accounts but the information's out there it's out there just look for it you'll find it all right so thank you friends <coughs> excuse me uh, so thank you again, friends. Please remember that we are still unboomable. And as always, please be safe. And to my lovely, 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 lovely lady, happy, happy, happy anniversary. Thank you, folks.